guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. I'm not sure what day this is actually going to be posted, but it's Vlogmas, so welcome back. So I actually filmed this vlog a few days ago, but I didn't really have time to post it that same day because I actually filmed another vlog, which is why I don't know what day this is being posted, but anyways. So in this vlog today, we're actually um, getting two new gargoyle geckos. So for a bit of um, a background story on this, I was not planning to get any new reptiles in general, but specifically gargoyle geckos. After I got my viper geckos, I kind of decided that was going to be the last reptile that I get for a while. So this wasn't something that I was planning on doing, but anytime I see like an animal that I could help and I know I can help them, I like to. So that's a bit of um, background knowledge. Now to get into the full story of this, I was just doing whatever, I don't know. I was on Instagram and I noticed that I got a DM from someone who needed some help with her gecko. So someone had DM'd me saying, also, if you hear bells, my cat playing with her um, toy. Anyways, so someone had DM'd me on Instagram saying that a few months ago, they kind of impulse bought two gargoyle geckos and now those are her words and not mine. So she did say that she impulse bought two gargoyle geckos and has been having trouble caring for them properly since. So I believe she said she got them in September and she's been having having a really, really hard time getting them to eat. I guess there's one that just like won't eat at all, one that will only eat if they're being hand fed. And I know one of them she said is also really feisty. So yeah, she reached out to me saying that she was having issues caring for these guys and that she, you know, ultimately decided that she couldn't care for them and she wanted them to go to good homes. So that's why she contacted me because she's actually fairly local to me. She doesn't live too far away so she was kind of asking to see if I could help out. Now at first I was debating this because like I said I didn't plan on getting any new reptiles for a while now but I do have gargoyle gecko experience and I knew that I could do something for these guys so I contacted her back saying that yes I will take them however I don't think I'll be keeping them. So I made it clear to her that I will take them and I will try to get them eating and healthy and doing well but then I will likely be finding them new homes. So this just kind of goes back again to the fact that I don't really want any new reptiles right now but I am happy to help out where I can. So my goal right now is to get these geckos healthy and eating and then hopefully find them new good homes. And so I made this clear to her because I didn't want her to give me her geckos thinking that I would be caring for them only for me to end up finding them new homes. I didn't want her to think that's what was going on so I made it clear to her that she can give them to me but I will likely not be keeping them for an extended period of time and she was okay with that I you know I know a lot of people in the reptile community here I don't think I will have a hard time finding them homes when the time comes and I know how to find good homes for them so she was all on board with that so that's the current plan so once I decided that I was going to take the geckos we arranged a time and place to meet and so I drove out to meet her and then I got the geckos and we drove back home and we set them up in their quarantine enclosure so after driving out to get the geckos we picked them up and then we drove back Back home and now in the car you could definitely tell they were not very happy they were sitting there with their mouths open we have some footage of that so I'll show you guys now what they looked like in the car so Emma just picked up these two little guys they're two gargoyle geckos he is pretty pissed off I mean his thing is marked with feisty though it's a good sign that he's like defending himself I'd say it's not good that he's stressed but it's good that he has some will to live Both male. I don't know. They're probably they too young to tell. Small. Yeah. He's beautiful though, wow. This one's pretty angry too. She was just making the face. And keep in mind we're not purposely stressing these guys out. They're probably just stressed because this environment isn't ideal for them, but 
is it's not good that they're stressed but i would say it's good that they feel the need to defend themselves because normally animals that are very unwell are just lethargic and non-responsive so sometimes a little bit of fight's a good thing so yeah as you can see they weren't very happy but we got home and we set them up in their quarantine tubs and that's where we're at right now so i thought that i would just show you guys the footage of me setting up their tubs and all of that before we get into the footage quickly i do want to say we were setting up these tubs in my basement downstairs because that's where all of my tools are all of the supplies are and stuff and so we're working on like a little table down there but my geckos aren't staying downstairs like on that table or anything because like i said they are being quarantined i just set them up down there and then we moved them so yeah, let's just get into the footage. So I just ended up picking up two gargoyle geckos. <laughs> There's these guys, they were pretty angry in the car. Um, they were like opening their mouths and everything, which you will probably see in the footage that Emily got. Hello. So yeah, we're gonna take these guys and get them set up in some like quarantine tubs for now and then I'll check back in. Ooh, your camera's worse at focusing than mine. Really? Yeah. She's disturbed. I'm a videographer and I charge ten dollars a minute. <laughs> I will be able to send you a PayPal invoice. <laughs> when you're trying to hit that 10 minute mark, you'll thank me. Just a spoon. Thanks. Now we'll get a close up of all these foods if you like it. Just in case. All right. He's cute. Oh, he's cute. Angry one. The one that says feisty on the front. Feisty and won't eat anything. Would you like to go? I don't really want to touch you. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Yay. He looks scared. He's like backing up. Oh. Yeah. That was cute. <laughs> Hi, you're pretty. So 
there we go. There is how we set up the geckos quarantine tubs, how we got them and everything. Now I do want to touch on the geckos health a little bit because I did mention earlier that she said that they weren't eating and stuff. Now the geckos do actually look pretty good for the most part. They are a little, little bit thin. It's hard to tell with gargoyle geckos because even when they're underweight, they still have a very round shape to them. But you can tell by looking at their hip area specifically. On these guys, you can see their hip bones a little bit. So that is an indicator that they are a little bit underweight, but it's definitely not anything like super severe. So I'm not too worried about them. They're both really active. So they seem really healthy. So I think that it'll be a fairly quick um, recovery for them. If we can get them eating, that would be ideal. And then hopefully we can find them some good home. So with all of that said, I'm going to go and end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it a ton. Also be sure to check out all of my social media. Everything is in the description down below. I would love to have you guys over there. All of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.